Newport's Old Bayfront is famous for its sea lion docks that attract tourists by the thousands each year. But a winter storm last month destroyed pieces of the dock that the animals laid on. Brian Clerkley went to Newport this week where business owners are trying to rebuild them. And Brian, they need the money to pay for it first. They do, and they need a lot of money, Brittany and Ashley. The president of the Newport Sea Lion Foundation wants to raise $100,000 to replace the docks. And we have some video of what the docks looked like before sitting on top of the water and now they're just completely gone and businesses that rely on the tourism want to get the docks replaced before the seafood and wine festival next month. So this area right here um, you'll see all of these pilings here. There were six large docks. Janelle Goplin is the president of the Newport Sea Lion Foundation and the owner of Clearwater Restaurant. Overlooking the docks where hundreds of sea lions would congregate. It's a huge tourist draw. Her customers get great views of the animals with their meal. Just last month, a massive windstorm broke the docks apart, some floating away, some were found and fished out of the water. Older dilapidated ones had just been replaced with these in the spring. Now tourists can only see the sea lions from a distance. We need to get them out of the water so that we can assess the damages and see if we really do need brand new docks or just repairs. Goplin says the sea lion docks provide a free attraction for tourists and it's been enjoyed for decades. You can hear the sea lions and so people want to check it out and spend time on the bayfront, come back to it, you know, go to the shops. It's very um, instrumental in the business on the bayfront. Bayscape's gallery and coffee house overlooks the docks as well. Owner Brendan Matthews says it's a way for tourists to see the animals in their natural environment. You know, there's so many things that, that the people coming here then may then turn around and invest in our local economy just after enjoying the sea lions as the draw. So I, th I think it is very important to replace the docks. <coughs> Even on a rainy January day with broken docks and sea lions in the distance, tourists were still enjoying the views. I think it started with the sound. We could hear it just while walking down the boardwalk and we had to come check it out. And they're amazing. Goplin hopes those tourists and others who love the animals will consider donating. Her goal is to raise up to $100,000. And we hope that we have the money to finish it all before Seafood and Wine Festival when hundreds of people, thousands of people, it's the biggest festival on the Oregon coast, come in February. And so far, they've raised around $3,700. And if people want to donate, the Newport Sea Lions Dock has a website, and I'll post that link on our page, kgw.com. Back to you guys. All right.